two Austrian catamarans in one anchorage. Uh, uh, both of it are performance uh, boats. Servus Gerhard, guten Morgen. Servus. <laughs> Now we have to speak English, eh? uh, because yes. our audience mostly is English. This is a mess, but... <laughs> Would be nice to speak in Austrian dialect, but I think people don't understand it. We are on a Katana 471. Uh, which means it's 47 foot long. Uh, uh, it's 7 meter 70. 770 B. wide. Uh, you have dagger boards, so uh, the depth of the boat will be minimal. It's from 120 to 250. This, uh, this one is uh, fiberglass. It's fiberglass, but this is also an advantage. Is it, it is uh, built from vinyl ester. Okay. So you never that will get any no osmosis. osmosis. Yeah, this was yeah. also important. This is for much me. more expensive, but uh, so that most yeah. boat yards don't do it. Uh, but uh, a good boat yard yeah. looks yeah. for a, a value of the a long time value of the boat, not like the charter boats. You know, there are three three years in, in charter and then they don't care. And this is also the reason why you, you have to pay so much for a 20-year-old boat. You uh, sailed the uh, Monohoy before. It was a... Uh, It was a uh, Namel Shaki. A very safe boat. A wonderful boat. I, I always liked it. I left this boat. It was my first boat and I wanted a safe boat because I wanted to cross the Atlantic single-handed. And I thought I just can do it with a safe boat. Uh, yes. We left this boat but uh, it had uh, a few disadvantage, disadvantages. For example, for me it was too slow. It was rolling a lot. Uh, yes, and the upwind uh, f characteristics were horrible. So you couldn't go more than 45, 50 degrees on the apparent wind. So no easy? It was not easy to cross with it. Mm -hmm. So you had to use a lot of times the engine. Okay, and uh, when you decided for a catamaran, uh, You didn't decide for a lagoon or fountain Peugeot or whatever, you decided for a performance boat. Yes, I, I never thought about uh, boats like they use in, in, in the charter, comp uh, the charter companies in the charter industry. Because for me those are just uh, floating, uh, floating water houses. I also wanted to have some comfort. So people are thinking always, uh, uh, if you have a performance catamaran, this, they are not comfortable. Mm, this boat is a bit different. This is uh, it's a lot of space. It has a lot of space. That was what I wanted. For example, comparing with the uh, Otremer, in the same size, Otremer 45, mm -hmm. uh, it has much more space inside. Maybe not the good light wind characteristics, like maybe your boat, looping, now I know it, <laughs> looping 45, uh, uh, and the, the Ultramares. But if you, because you told me you can sail at five knots, seven, let's say seven knots five, seven knots, we are starting with eight knots and eight knots better upwind than downwind. So, but this was the, the choice. Uh, Otremea, Katana and, and, and maybe the Mambi. Uh, not nothing else. So for people they are looking for a performance boat, this must be very interesting. You know, the internet is full of catamarans. There are, I don't know, thousands of them. But uh, most of them uh, I, I just don't even look to because it's not interesting for me. I don't like the charter boats. They, they don't sail. You know they don't sail. And for me it's important that the boat sails. Uh, I, I hate this uh, uh, starting the engine thing. Uh, it's necessary yes. sometimes. But, uh, but if I can sail in the same conditions, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. 
Maybe there's also a difference between your boat and ours. So um, light wind for sure your uh, and yours. For sure your boat will be sail better than this one. So what is a performance catamaran for you? What what it has to have? Uh, it has to be fast. It has to be fast. It has to be. It has to have uh, good upwind characteristics. Uh, so you are doing how many degrees to the wind? In uh, I can come up to 30 on the on the parent wind with the boards down. 30 degrees uh, to all mono high people uh, uh, listen yeah, to yeah, this number. Yeah, yeah. I didn't thought that it, it uh, that it uh, I can do that with this boat, but it's possible. But if you go higher, you you, you are lose going, the speed. Yeah, you lose the speed. So we are talking about speed. Uh, is it important for you the top speeds or, or, or no? No, the average. So. If I have seven knots average speed, it's okay for me. So to make 170 miles in 24 hours, that's what I want to have. Because you can go 12 knots, maybe 15 knots with this boat, but it's getting so loud and uncomfortable. But on the anchor, I also like to have enough space outside and inside. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed with uh, your bridge deck clearance, so uh, it seems to me, it looks to me that you are not bumping even when not you go much. upwind. Not too much, that's good. Yeah. It's, it's very high, you can also go under with the dinghy under the boat. Yes, that's so. what I saw. Uh, not many catamarans have this high yes. bridge deck clearance, and, uh, but it's, uh, for me it's very important. How heavy is the boat? Uh, empty and uh, full load. Yesterday I looked for your boat and I saw it has five tons. But it's very, very less. Yeah. Uh, mine, I, I don't know exactly. They write into the books 11 tons. 11. Empty or? Empty. So with 10 knots of wind you make 7, 8 knots of speed. Uh, if I use the right sails, but the disadvantage is uh, I have much larger sails like like you or like I think also the other mess yeah. because the main sail for 47 uh, the main sail is 90 square meters, Genoa is 60 square meters, and then I have a, a Genaka with 120 square meters. So I don't know what your boat. No, we have need. about. I don't even know the main side is 60, the Genoa is 30 and the Genaka is 80, mm -hmm. the, the small one and the big one 140. You have the kitchen upstairs, uh, you, yes. you like this way, some catamarans have it downstairs man, no, and I some have like it upstairs. I like them downstairs, I like them upstairs, you can see you can look out uh, when you are making the dishes or when you're cooking. You can open the window, you can talk to the people outside. Uh, I think this is also comfort. Yeah. Not to be down in the cave and work in the cave alone and, and everybody's waiting. No idea what's happening around. Yes. Yeah, 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 so uh, you have uh, three or four cabins? No, I have just three cabins. So it's an owner version? It's an owner version. This was. Uh, I, I wouldn't bought a, a, a charter version. So, and the beds are small and uncomfortable, like on all performance catamarans? Come and have a look. Have a look. They are big, eh? They are big. They are more than two meter long. One on the starboard side, I think, 185, and, and here 180 wide. That's queen size, and I don't know. Really, a lot of space above you. You have a fridge and a freezer, I assume. Yes, we have a fridge and a freezer. The water maker. The water maker. And so, how much solar panels to power this? Oh, 1,200 watts. 
and they are all on the roof. And also, uh, I think seven times 160 amps. Oops, that's Our a station, lot. That's a lot, yes. And with that, I can handle the, the whole boat. So, you bought this boat new or second hand? Oh, no, it's. I don't know, it has more than, than two pre-owners, but this boat sailed around the world and I bought it three years ago. Is it yes, uh, a secret how much you paid for this boat that people have an idea? I paid 380,000 euros. You know, you can get a new boat for that and it's, it was a, an old boat. So this boat is easy to single hand. Uh, yes, this was one of the. Did you change anything to be able to 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 single hand the boat? Or? I changed one thing because uh, we have a, a center uh, winch, and with this winch you can do everything without going to the mast or going uh, to the bow. So the lines. Uh, the lines are coming. Under, under the cockpit, they're coming under the you cockpit. You see this round tunnel and there the lines are going mm -hmm. up yes. to and this can, winch yeah, here. You can raise the halyard, you can reef every reef from here. And what you, what you don't see is when you raise the halyard, you don't see the, the sail. Mm -hmm. What is a disadvantage if you have the, uh, the lazy, lazy checks. checks. Yeah, always, always in the lazy checks. So I have now a remote from, mm -hmm. from the Hopefully. starboard helm. So you can, I can go handle the, the winch helm, from the helm. I can handle the winch from the starboard helm. Okay. And so it's very easy to do with the pylon. So in the, the oceans you are sleeping or, and, and let the electronics keep watch? Or how yes. do you do it? Yes. I'm sleeping 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Then I go a short watch. It needs 10 seconds. So you have the radar running in the AIS yes, running yes. and yeah. okay and it works absolutely no problem. Thanks for having us, uh, Austrians on Austrian boats. Uh, it for me? But it was easy to do it in English, uh, quite easy. Mm -hmm.